Hello everyone, Gabriel here, and today we're going to learn how to export the data captured on Kernel Scan into a database of our choice. The first step is open the ODBC connector on Windows, make sure you run it as administrator, and then we are going to create the connections we need on here. I'm going to click on the Add button, and first we are going to create a connection to a SQL Server and then a connection to a MDB file on the disk. So I'm going to choose a SQL native client and then click on finish to start the SQL connector. I'm going to call this invoices SQL and then I'm going to input my server here and then the instance name. There we go. And then we make sure we use the Windows integrated authentication, which is safer and faster to set up. And then we click on next. And then we change the default database to our desired database. There we go. And then we click on next. And those options should all be left at the default, unless you really want something very, very specific. And then we click on finish. We can test the data source, make sure everything is OK, and then we click on OK to finish setting it up. Now we have our SQL connection. Let's set up our MDB connection. So I click on Add, and then we're going to choose the Microsoft Access driver, and then click on Finish. I'm going to call the data source name Invoices MDB. And then we're going to select the database file from our disk. I'll just navigate to the folder where it should be. There we go. Select our database file and then click OK. Now we should be ready to go. So just click on OK and click on OK one more time. Now on kernel scan, we have a very simple job in which we have one single document type and we are capturing some header information together with some line item data here as well. We are capturing the VAT amount, line total, unit price, details lines, and the quantity. So let's set up the export. I'm going to click on the export batch button. And then the first step is to remove the kernel scan PDF text module. We don't really need that. Now we click on the add output button. Then we have to select ODBC export and file system. And then we click on the add button. Now we select the machine data source we just set up. I'm going to start with the MDB and then click on OK. And on this window, we have to select the table we want and then the fields we are going to export. Because I'm creating a new table inside the database, I'm just going to name my table here and then use create the table if it doesn't exist. But if you are using an existing database with existing tables and you want to export your data to those existing tables, you can just select the table from the drop down menu here. And then all you have to do is make sure that all the data you need is being sent to the right database fields. For my case, I will just disable the fields I don't need because the fields I export will be created on the table. So I don't really need document type and order number. That's it for this part. Now for the line item details, I need to make sure that I have export X grid data set to true. And then the same applies here. I don't really need balance and I don't really need a page number. And because we have several line items for each invoice, 
what we will have on the database, and we'll see that in a minute, is that the same invoice entry will be set for each line item we have. But if you want to have your line items on a separate table inside the same database, you can check the video on the card on the top right of this video or follow the link in the description below. For now, this is set. I'll just click on OK. And then for the file system, I'll just click OK again and then remove the file system module. I just click on it and then click on the delete button. Now, the same should be repeated for the SQL database. Again, add output, ODBC export, file system, and then we click on add. Machine data source, we choose our SQL connection right here, and then we click OK, and make sure the table and field configuration is set as intended. Now that we have everything set up, we click on the save button and then run the exports. As we can see, both modules ran successfully. So let's check the databases. For access, we have the database file right here. And as mentioned, we can see that one line was generated for the same invoice for each line item. So we can see several entries for the same invoice and the only difference is the line item details. If instead you want to have your line items exported to a separate table with a link to the main table, what you need to do is to follow the link on the description or again this card on the top right of this video. And the same can be said for our SQL database. As we can see here, the data is pretty much on the same format. So that's it, guys. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you on the next tutorial. Bye-bye.